Yeah, the race worked out really um, well from the time the gates opened, as you, you yourself indicated. Um, I think what gave me most confidence is this horse's track work up the 1800 meter gallop um, last Monday. He, uh, geez, he went down there in terrific fa fashion and um, I'm glad we did it a week before, six days before, because he went too quick. Um, but he, he just indicated that everything was pointing to the right direction and he was flying. So uh, let's just hope that he can stay in similar form for the big one. He really let down a treat when you asked him. You came from sort of the rails of the 600 and, and just needed to find your run. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Uh, as I said, when he left the gates, um, he, I, I preferred to ride him a bit colder than that. And then he, he certainly finds the line. But uh, I was there for free and I found myself in, in, on the rail and sort of tracking them four or five lengths off, uh, off the pace. And um, as soon as the splits came and I had, had Amber Sky to run down, um, he gave me everything. But the way he did it, uh, he's improved a lot. We did work him on um, Monday on the grass and uh, just to take a little bit of the edge off him. He was a bit above himself and uh, that paid dividends and he got the gun ride today and delivered. Um, so couldn't be happier that the horse has gone the next step. I was of the opinion that, that you know, there was a time where I thought maybe he, he can't make the next step because we thought he was a happy valley horse. But we brought him to Chartin and he's doing the job now in fine fashion to win a, you know, a, a group two, a three at the back end of last season, I think, with Tommy Berry and then come and win a group two today. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's going to be competitive on the day from a good gate. Very happy, Matt. Uh, I'm proud of him. He tries hard. He's probably a 1,400 type of a horse, and unfortunately today we were, we were running at, at 1,200 meters, but he tr still tried hard, finished second, not too far behind the, the winner, and I'm very proud of him. Very pleased. First time he do, I mean, he shows something of a 1,200 meter. We ride him a bit conservative because we knew the pace was fast. I try to follow as long as I can, you know, the winner, and he still uh, hit the line correctly, so this is very uh, encouraging, I mean, very uh, good run for the international. So I'm more than happy. Well, you know, I was comfortable going into the bend, but uh, half around her, I just seemed to struggle. And uh, he was on the right leg, but I think he's just so used to going the straight thousand. Uh, I know he's had a couple of trials um, leading up to this round the bend, but I just think all he knows is a straight, and uh, I think the 1200 stretched him. So, uh, you know, I suppose the Kenton Crow is his aim now. So at least you know now, and uh, you can train him for that. So Not too bad. Once again, um, he's got that short, sharp 250 metre sprint, and he really levels out. So. You know, when you draw as bad as we did and go back as far as we did, he can't sustain a long sprint. But um, hopefully in the summer we draw a good barrier, can race a bit handier and we'll be in the mix. He was, um, he was a lot of speed, it seems, last year. A horse anyway, we jump, they go very fast and he get a... He was a bit... Uh, in, I was in difficult at the beginning and he tried to finish. Then he ran, he ran so, so, not, not bad, not good, but for sure uh, the horse uh, changed seems last year. Yes, I'm very pleased with his ride. Uh, first time out after a long break. It's coming good. I believe he's going to be ready for the international, for the sprint. Uh, today I get a bit of interference at a 300. If not, he will run in the first four. Um, but extremely happy with him, the way he fight to the straight. All the, all the line, I was very happy with him. Pace was fine and I come through. He's very honest. He's coming back to his good form.